If you clicked on this video, chances are you have played Dragon's Dogma, beaten the Dark Arisen expansion and finished Dragon's Dogma 2. Wondering what you should play next? If you are like me and only enjoy playing Dogma likes, then you have a couple of options. If you haven't already, you can try the Elden Ring DLC and get your ass cheeks clapped in the lands between. Or maybe check out Rise of the Ronin if you are on console. Personally, I've been picking up Neo since they don't make him like that anymore. Such a great game if you like a challenge. But then you might say, Rifty, I've played all of these games and I need something new. A fresh Dragon's Dogma 2 experience. And that is exactly what this game offers. Dragon's Dogma Online is a well-kept secret in the community. And that we actually have the game working now with quests, cutscenes and translated subtitles is pretty amazing to say the least. Not only is this a complete experience now, but we also have new vocations here like the Alchemist, Spirit Lancer and High Scepter that all provide unique playstyles I feel we lacked in the sequel. So we started a new playthrough yesterday and I plan to make more videos showcasing Didion for you guys in the coming month. So this time I wanted to get out of my comfort zone and try a pure magic class. And this is how that went. Let's see, we're gonna go with... Um... So I think we're gonna go with uh, a really big lady. There we go. I think, I think that's... What is up with that face? <laughs> Why does that look so creepy? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man, we got a... <laughs> we got the church mom here. And a lowly. All right, so I think something between this and this should be fine oh we got the goth girl we got all the the archetypes here <laughs> i want to go for a mage sorcerer type of uh, character because i never really play a, a magic character that's really out of my comfort zone but i want to see how they made the sorcerer in this game any of you guys here now played dragon's dogma online before when the servers were up or is it the first time you hear about this game it's got so much potential, they did so many things right in this game, I think. Even though I think it's really fun to just play around with these classes I've never tried before. I think having quests is uh, important for a lot of people. I think a lot of this is going to be brought back in the sequel, in the DLC. It's, it's sort of like pointing us in that direction, but uh, there's a lot of interesting lore in this game as well. I'm trying to wrap my head around it. It's so strange that in this game, it's not strange, it's actually pretty smart. They actually gave us eight skills or six skills, yeah. So you have three skills on each. So on the R1, I have uh, three skills. That is actually boosting your stamina for the party. What does this do? That's release. Healing spot. This is healing spot. Let me just check that out. Oh, you get Anodyne. Alright, so you get Seraphim Flap. And then we have... Uh... Hold on. Hold on a second. Let me just breathe. <laughs> Let me just breathe. You have Guard Bits. What does that do? Ooh. Defensive uh, Aura. Nice. Alright, so we are gonna fight some enemies. I have one offensive attack. Why Itsuna didn't manage to give us uh, more skills than they did in the sequel is beyond me, but hey, at least we have it here. This is the this is Itsuna's vision. He made it seven years ago. Alright, so... Ooh, we got some uh, invasive killer bees. Man, why does this magic feel so good, actually? Low-key? Man, the way... <laughs> I don't know why I'm simping for this, uh, these animations here. It's so basic. <laughs> but it feels so good. The way she throws the staff. Alright, so we're gonna put up guard bit again. No, just... The game is full of quests. No cap. How far is the... Alright, so... I forget that it's not a lock-on in this game. Alright, the so damage is good. What level am I? Oh, that completely missed. Alright, it's good that we have a team here that can tank for me. Alright, got him. 
This is so cool to see. You got the cutscenes, you got the translations. Now it actually feels like playing a new game. And earlier it felt like I was testing the beta. So it's really cool to see what they've done with this man. They are some real legends for pulling this off. Holy shit, Mike. Coming in hot with the 100. Thanks a lot, my man. Hold on, I'm trying to not die here. I'm going to read that comment. My dude. All right, so that's... You actually have three defensive uh, stacks with this. That is so much better than the sequel for some reason. Why is this game so good? It's not even trying that hard and it's still so good. I can't wait to get some proper spells here. All right, now, Mike. Hey, brother, been a while. Just wanted to say hi. Is there any news about Dragon's Dogma 2 DLC or any expansion? First of all, man, thanks a lot for that donation. I really appreciate you, man. And secondly, I'm going to try to answer this question. We're going to get a DLC that we know for sure. We don't know anything about when it's going to come or how it's going to look, but it feels like they're going to they're building up for a, a release or some kind of news about the DLC soon. I know it sounds crazy to a lot of you to think about getting a DLC this fast, but I think how they made Dragon's Dogma 2, they had the DLC in mind. So I think although it's a little bit of a shitty move from Capcom, I think it's a really sound business idea. So if I can put it that way, that you make a game, let's say it was 80% finished when they released it, but they already have been working on that 20% alongside the sequel. So here's my crazy hot take. I think they have been working on that DLC for a long time now. It's probably ready for launch this winter. And I think we're gonna get a lot of the things we feel like we missed in the game, complete the game. Like Dark Arisen did back in the day. Yeah, some something in Tokyo Game Show, isn't that in September? I think there's a big chance for us to get something there. This fight is probably not supposed to take this long, but hey, we are learning. It's strange to not have any spells with this uh, support class. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right, Weisman. I think that's how it started. But man, I'm just enjoying these uh, cutscenes, man. And also that it's uh, translated now means that you can actually understand what's going on and get a bit of the lore as well. We got another little uh, cutscene here. Ah, using the heal move will get more aggro. Ah, that's strange. Yeah, Didion is uh, is all about the anime. Yeah, it, they, it's more centered for for Japanese audience, of course. Boldness is the enlightening of the modern man. <laughs> yeah, he's saying something there, man. Yeah, so this is basically uh, the bad guy, the cool bad guy in <laughs> Didion. It's called Zul. Oh, this is the Dragon Priestess. And uh, there are some rumors about the Dragon Priestess being a part of the Dragon's Dogma 2 DLC. So this is her. I think she speaks for the dragon or something like that. She's the dragon spokesperson, I think. Okay, so her name is Ms. Yal. All right, let's speak to her. I'm surprised how well kept the graphics are for such an old game. I can't really understand what she's saying. There's also not translated there, so I'm just going to talk to this guy. <clears throat> so first quest is to reverse the petrification of the white dragon. Okay. All right, so recently the orc's offensive momentum have increased and the defense corps have been repeatedly driven to defeat in skirmishes against them. Oh. We've allowed this to continue. That is until the invasion of Grittenfort. All right, so we're going to probably liberate Grittenfort. Oh, there we go. Now we can talk to her. All right, so that was what we needed to do. There we go. The slumbering god speak with the white dragon. There we go. Finally, the quest is available. So this is what was so hard for them to reverse engineer. I have no idea how they do this, but they made this work. And it took them years well let's see how many job points do we have okay so that doesn't cost anything we'll get that all right so you can level up all your skills all the way up to level 10 in this game so you need uh there's level requirements job level three six eight okay 
Just like we're used to, but it's... Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's all the way to level 60. Job level 60. That's insanely high. It's just speaks volumes how much you need to grind in this game and a lot of these things are working now as well core skills augments etc these are also locked now so okay so everything works all right so um okay there we are <laughs> why is this giving <laughs> why is this giving me prince of pressure vibes here that's a really good <laughs> drawing man what is this ai how'd you make this Conceptual work of Gino Afghan vocation. <laughs> Man, that is the best uh, rendering I've seen. That's actually the Shamshir from um, Elden Ring. So now you have your your sorcerer attack. So that's square. That's a charge up. And you can just... Uh, okay, so you cannot shoot them. You need to charge that up. Okay, that's different. And... Oh, so now we have these little... You have these little games. Magic trap. Okay, so you have a magic trap there. I'm so glad you can walk and uh, charge up at the same time. Oh, okay, so that... We actually got a flamethrower, guys. <laughs> and also, we're getting drops now. Drops have been fixed, so we can actually level up and uh, upgrade our gear. Alright, we're gonna try the trap here, see how that looks. 24 damage, not bad. Man, I'm really intrigued about uh, the Mandalorian in the back there. He's just standing there menacingly. All right, so there's probably going to be some zombies in here. We got some fire to cook them up, so let's go. I have to say the ambience in this music is uh, it's really good. That is something I feel lacked a little bit in Dragon's Dogma 2, was the feeling you get in certain places. There, there was, There's a lack of music in the sequel, I feel. There we go, there's the zombies we're looking for. All right, let's go with the firestorm to cook these guys up. That's a decent range on that. Come on, come on. Man, that cinematic shot, though. All right, maybe we'll just go with the standard. Okay, fire did a lot more damage. Maybe if I go point blank, it's gonna be better. Let's just try that. Ah, oh, there we go. Got hit by all of that. I would say they have uh, reached one of the most important milestones to actually find out how this is, how to reverse engineer this. And now it's just a matter of time to get them all working, right? That's gonna just take time, but now they at least understand how to do it. The end goal is, of course, to get uh, the whole game working. And that might take uh, even years, from what I understand.